Hi, my name's Sam Plonsky. I'm owner here of Sam's Motorcycle Service in Rancho Mirage, California. I've been right here in this same location since 1976. And this has been a full-time business for me right here since 1982, where I have serviced and sold thousands of fun and quality used motorcycles like this 2004 Harley Softtail Deuce here. Uh, this is a very unique opportunity to buy something like this. This, this bike has only 4,338 original miles. does not even have 5,000 original miles on it yet. It is an original one owner motorcycle. Uh, an older gentleman that's retired and he's just not riding anymore. Very well kept up. Uh, it's also rare in that it is the, this is uh, number one, the paint job on this is a factory Harley Davidson paint job from the factory. And this is number 157 out of 200 of the red, white, and blue uh, Deuce, Harley Deuce paint jobs. So it's uh, it's rare in that in that respect, and look at the please look at all the pictures that I'm going to show included all the black all the black parts. So it's going to have a, a black fuel tank in addition, an additional black front fender, an additional black rear fender that'll come with it. Uh, it comes uh, with it's got the really nice Banson Heinz pipes on it. Um, it's got the uh, this bike actually came stock with a solid wheel, and that is included in this sale. You have the solid wheel. This is not the stock wheel. This is the spoke wheel. This bike originally came with a spoke on the front and a solid in the rear. He put the spoke on it and now we have, so now you'll have an extra rear wheel with the tire rod as well. Uh, it comes with the owner's book. We did a storage revival on it because it was parked inside of his uh, garage here in La Quinta and uh, he paid us $1,717 to do a complete storage revival. Professional service on it with all new fluids and uh, new components inside the fuel tank. The only thing that does not work is we could not get a genuine Harley fuel sending unit. So this is just like the old bikes, you have no fuel gauge. You have to watch your odometer on it, which is what I do on my motorcycle. I just watch the odometer and I reset it. Uh, there is an aftermarket company I'm looking into that may have a fuel sending unit for it if you really want to have a fuel gauge, but a lot of bikes don't have them. My, my big road bike has no fuel gauge on it. I just use the odometer. I will take it for a ride for you. This thing sits really low to the ground. It's really, really cool, really, very comfortable. It sounds great. It feels great to ride. It's a lot of fun. It's rather unique. And I think, best of all, it's only got 4,000 miles on it.